This is AWS On Air live at reInvent, and today's topic is definitely top of mind, I bet, for a lot of you here. It's security and compliance. Um, so before we kind of get into that topic, let's do a little round of intros. So my name is Jillian Ford, and I'm a startup solutions architect. I've got an amazing co-host, A.M. Uh, Gravelli. Stop it. I'm A.M. <laughs> Gravelli. I'm a developer advocate here at AWS and one of your hosts for AWS On Air. We're joined by a very exciting startup. Yes, very uh, exciting. Also, I, I hear congratulations are in order as well, but first, before we yeah. get to that, who are you and what startup yeah. are you here with? Absolutely, thanks. Uh, so my name is Rob Truesdale. I'm responsible for products at Pangea Cyber. Uh, the news today, we uh, did a few different things. One, okay. we uh, uh, announced our Series B, led by Google Ventures. Congratulations. Octa Ventures and Decibel. Thank That's exciting. It's huge. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, exciting. And then uh, also we, we GA'd our platform today as well. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been nice. a busy day <laughs> at Pangea. Just Another Wednesday. <laughs> seriously, yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. The team's been just grinding for a while, and like, wow. it's pretty exciting to get it out. So, uh, yeah, it's awesome. That is awesome. So, when we, when we talked earlier, uh, Pangea got me really, really excited because you know we've got security in the cloud, we've got security of the cloud, something that I think a lot of developers struggle with is security in their applications mm, that's right. that yes. run on the cloud. Yeah. That's right. right. That's a whole different set yeah. of uh, skills. It's a whole different approach than some of the other approaches to security. How do you all at Pangea see that with uh, developers and building security into the applications yeah. that they're building? I mean, I mean look, you, you said a lot of it, right? So um, there's, there's a lot going on in terms of securing everything around the application itself, whether that be the infrastructure, uh, the supply chain, uh, meaning libraries, those type of things going into the app, but nobody yet has been looking at bringing security directly into the application runtime, delivering a complete set of services that can be integrated by a developer into an app. So that's what we're focused on. We want to build literally everything that a developer would need to confidently deliver a secure application from, from one vendor. Uh, we want to be the AWS, but for, for security, really, uh, is, uh, is what the goal is, so. I love that. And then are there certain like use cases, types of applications that can specifically Pangea can be used for? Yeah, so uh, really, really any cloud application. Okay. Uh, when you think about what makes up a cloud app, you have things like authentication, authorization, right. secure audit logging, entitlement and license management. Uh, if you're doing any file exchange, so storing files, sharing files, uh, secure vault, all of those things are absolutely critical for any modern cloud application. But when you're a builder looking to build that app, you're faced with either building those capabilities yourself, which is not really exciting when you want to get to the features that deliver value to your users, right, yep. uh, or you have to go out to the market and cobble together a solution from a number of different disparate vendors. Yeah. That's really what we're aimed at solving, is how do we bring that together, make it really, really easy for a developer to embed these capabilities into their app right. with just a few lines of code so that they can move on to the features that they need to build for their, for their users. Arguably, it's not even not just exciting, it can be distracting, time consuming, take a completely different skill set than, than you're yes, used to, yes. mm -hmm. uh, and, and can be expensive depending on who you have to hire to do it, that's, right? That's exactly right. Um, so you mentioned a few areas uh, that are commonly used in, in apps, right? So I heard secure audit logs, for example. Um, I, I've, I've seen you've got redaction. You know, yeah. these are things that, that devs are probably pretty familiar with, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, but how do you all approach which one do you want to tackle? I'd yeah, love to go in depth on one of these. I mean, yeah. I think I think the audit log is probably the most interesting right now. I mean, the over time we're going to be rolling out more and more of these, just as yeah. as you guys do with with your services. But the secure audit logs out there right now, like I said, generally available. And what we do that a lot of other say audit log solutions aren't doing on the security front. Uh, our audit log is an immutable, cryptographically verifiable, uh, tamper-proof solution that is basically handled on the developer's behalf. So they hit one API, they get all of that functionality when they integrate into their application. Um, so it makes it really easy to be, again, confident about what it is that you're building. Um, when you start pursuing things like compliance, especially in regulated apps, things like SOC 2 compliance or if GDPR is a concern, and 
developers aren't paying attention to the detailed requirements of those things. That's not an area that they're. I, really, sometimes you have to be a lawyer to understand. Right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Right? Yeah. So we, we worked with the lawyers to, to figure it out, right? And say, okay, how do we build this as a readily made service, usable out of the box, one or two lines of code, and you're good to go? Right. That's amazing. I mean, um, for example, I, I, I've been reading through some of your docs too ever since um, we, we connected earlier uh, before the interview. And I see things like you all teaching about in this secure audit log, for example, you know, how you made it tamper-proof. Right. So you're also not just providing the APIs uh, so that I can go implement it without having to learn. You are also educating at the same time yeah. if, if a developer mm. needs to engage yeah. and understand what's That's happening. Right. Yeah, so the, uh, the, the docs, the documentation, is a fun part of this because we are explaining everything that we're doing in the back end. So we're using Merkle trees uh, with all the audit logs that are coming in. We take the root hash and the consistency proofs and we're publishing those to a third party block weave. We're using AR weave. But all of that is documented. So if anybody's interested in learning like how is this actually done in the back end, the docs are really comprehensive and explain all of this. I love that. I mean, it's so common that people really want to understand actually what's going on. I know we, I get it a lot as a question as a solutions architect. I'm right. sure you do too. Sure. Um, so I guess another thing that comes to mind, at solutions architect, I'm always curious about best practices. So are there any best practices that a developer should be thinking about as they're implementing Pangea into their application? Best practices. So um, look, I, I, think, I think for one, um, Collaborating in, in the community, of course, is like a, a great idea. We have, we have a Discord server uh, that, that a lot of builders are on right now uh, talking about how to integrate with these APIs. Use our sample apps. The tutorials are really, really helpful to help nice. guide on what, you know, how to integrate uh, all of these applications. Um, yeah, I, mean, I, would, I would start there, like really just tutorials and following, following the script, right? We're trying, really what we're trying to do is make it, again, as dead simple as possible. I love so, it. The sample apps really take care of all of it. Uh, so following, following those examples right. make it you know, really, really dumb proof to, to get going. Uh, uh, do you have any recommendations for, for devs out there too? Um, you know, not every developer has the, the burdens of compliance yet, right? Not everybody's going out and building PCI compliant applications right. yet, right? Like oftentimes that comes later, right? Uh, but do you have a recommendation? Is it easier just to get it plugged in, right, when you're getting started, if you can anticipate, you know, the needs that you'll have? Or do you have any of the microservices at Pangea um, that you recommend that are applicable to, to most, if not all, applications? Yeah, so um, right now, the audit log is definitely, we talked about that in detail. That is right. definitely applicable to 100% of applications. Everyone needs Everybody that. needs that. The next thing on the horizon are authentication, authorization, and vault. So uh, secrets management. Oh yeah. So these things again are um, absolutely critical to every application. Those are in development right now, right? So uh, expect to see them in the next few months in a beta form. Nice. But uh, uh, other services that, that developers can start start working with GA are uh, embargo checks. So uh, there are certain applications that don't want to engage with countries that we shouldn't be engaging with, right? Uh, right. Per ITAR regulations, things like that. So uh, delivering an API that allows you to check if the country of origin is from North Korea or Iraq or wherever, we have that as an API. Other ones are the Redact you mentioned earlier. Right. So being able, we have 24 different rule sets, as well as the ability to have customized rule sets to redact things like PII from uh, really any string or object. So when you are hitting an API, or our API, plugging in a string and say there's a social security number nestled within that, we use it a lot with our audit log, in fact. Oh, wow. If there's like a PII being logged into the audit trail itself, you can enable redaction with that. If you wanted that as a standalone API to hit on your own, you could do that. And then another interesting thing, thing that we're doing are bringing in a lot of the security partner ecosystem. We have uh, worked with in the past almost every kind of commercial enterprise security vendor out there. What we want to do are bring their APIs into the platform and make them available for developers to use as well. So nice. things like 
indicators of compromise, checking against those for things like malware against file hashes, uh, looking for malicious IP addresses, and using the partner ecosystem to right. fulfill those APIs. Incredibly exciting stuff, Rob, but we unfortunately have to move on. Yeah. Before we do, quickly, where do I go to get started? Yeah, it's simple. Um, Pangea.cloud, sign up right there. Uh, there you go. We have, uh, again, we're, we're GA. We have a freemium credit model, so you can get going, building apps very quickly at no cost. So, Pangea.cloud. Go check it out, and we will be right back with more from AWS On Air. Stay tuned.